Hey everybody, welcome back. So in today's episode, we ran into an issue with our Keystone RV. We had a uh, small electrical issue. It turned out to be a pinched wire in the underbelly. And when we found that, we found a little bit more than we expected. There was a water leak. And so we went through and pulled down the underbelly, pulled out some of the foil insulation, and turns out the underbelly was full of water. So we've got those cut open, drying those out, and now we're gonna go through in the spots that are already dry and start putting in this rigid insulation inside. So I hope you guys enjoy. So in order to find the, the leak location, we've inspected the pipes. And in order to get to them, we had to take this panel out here. There's a screw on each side. And then that opened up the access for underneath where the pipes are at. And when that leaked, it leaked up here and it caused the water to run backwards. And it filled up this bay here. And this thing was drooped down probably three, four inches. And then when this one filled up, and moved to that one back there and filled that one up and eventually once that got full it started dripping out the back corner of the RV um, and then it also worked its way forward you can see up there where we cut down the insulation we originally thought that the issue was going to be up there because um, that's where the water pump and water heater and all that are um, so we cut that out. Turns out the water leak wasn't there. So we just started working our way backwards until we got back here and found the leak. Once we cut this open, you could actually hear the water uh, spraying against uh, the insulation. So we ended up cutting the PEX out, uh, putting an elbow on it, crimping it, and putting it all back together to fix the water leak. So that's good. But now we're going through the process of having to dry out the entire underbelly of this Keystone RV. And then the other thing that we're going to do too, once we get this all dry, is we are going to put new insulation in. We got some of that rigid foam insulation, it's like 5R, because uh, this was only maybe an inch and a half thick of the fiberglass. So between that and the radiant barrier that uh, we have for it should actually increase our R value on the underside of this RV. So, waiting for this stuff to dry out, and then we'll uh, start putting it all back together. So, this is the bathroom sink in our RV, and the issue ended up being with the cold water and the hot water supply line that comes from up front. And what it was is they had uh, kinked these lines, like I said before. And instead of using 90s below, they just ran it up in one piece. And they used a zip tie to take and hold it over to try and keep the angle on it so it wouldn't kink. But it ended up kinking, rubbing through, and caused a leak just below the floor here in the bottom of the RV. So we ended up cutting those out, putting 90s in, and redid them. So what we're going to do over here, since the gap between this support and where the bottom goes is basically the same. We're gonna fill this cavity in between the supports with that pink insulation. So that's what we're gonna start on first. So the other thing that we're doing, instead of just insulating up to the water tank, we're also going to insulate up the sides where the I-beam is for the sides of the RV. That way it has a nice thermal bridge all the way up to the floor and then all the way underneath as well.
All right, so now that we got the insulation up, I'm gonna use some duct tape and duct tape the edges of it to the metal here so that we know it's not gonna go anywhere. So we got the water leak fixed. We got the insulation put up here. Now we're gonna work on getting the black plastic protective covering put back over top. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of us working on our Keystone RV trying to fix a water leak. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Catch you guys in the next one.